So this is a look at the Best Garter trail camera. I'm going to try to go through some of the features of this, go through some of the specs. I'm going to test like trigger time, recovery time, and, and that, and then I'll provide some samples for you. But this here is a look at what is included. You've got an owner's manual, an operating manual, a warranty card, and then a quick guide. I think it's got some frequently asked questions. You know, this manual, it's fine. I mean, it's not the best. You're going to have some a little bit of language disparity, um, but uh, you know, you'll get the idea. You'll be able to figure it out. I'd, I'd say, particularly if you've operated trail cameras before. Um, so you've got these cords, you can hook them up directly to the camera to view pictures, but if you have an SD card, you can just pop this in your computer. Now, I use SanDisk, but you can use whatever. If that's not included, you'll have to get that separately. So if we open this up here, the first thing we want to do is we want to take off all of the plastic. I think that might be all. Okay, here's one more. So there's just that. Um, it runs on AA batteries. You'll need to put eight of them in there. This is a red flash camera as opposed to a black flash camera. Uh, you'll be able to see the LEDs, but what makes this a little bit differently different is you've got this black lens there. So that kind of mutes some of that flash. Uh, so I don't think you'll be able to see it very far, but you know when I test this out, I'll be able to give you some more information on that. Um, this does have a menu where you can set the time, the uh, temperature setting, or you know, the, the camera settings for like temperature and, and various things. And I'll go through some of that quick. You can do mode, video, photo, time lapse, and hybrid is both, it takes one photo and one video. Motion detection is if you, you know, want something that is cold blooded, um, that, that doesn't pick up heat. Like if you have a beaver or something that's coming out of water, chances are it's not going to be real, uh, be adamant to pick up that heat signature. Set the clock, zoom. I'd say leave that off for most in, most people. Image size five, two, five, eight, twelve. It's an eight of five. Um, so I'd say go with that. But it, it will interpolate up if you want it to. It just takes up more size though. Um, it basically guesses. The pixels and where they should be doesn't really add a whole lot and that's um, true with any trail camera most any trail camera um, video size 1080 or 720 now, a lot of times that means it's good in the day but some of these cameras it's not very good at night um, it's it's a lower resolution might be 480 we'll have to see on this if that is the case video length you can do five or up to 90 seconds Audio recording, yes or no. PR in interval. I set it to a low so we can take pictures, you know, back to back to back, or you can have a pause in between it. Time lapse. That is, um, you know, you can take pictures every five seconds, ten minutes, whatever, from a set time of day. You know, maybe 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Whatever, rather than having something walk in front of it. Timestamp, temperature. You know, that's free, um, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, battery calculation percentage or whatnot. It is security enabled. Format your card. That just erases everything on your card. So that's, you know, a basic look at it. You can go into depth when you get your manual and all that. But uh, to put it on, uh, to turn the camera on, first you need to put an SD card in but it's in the on position, and then when you review it, it's in the test position. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is your buckle that attaches to a tree. You can also connect it to a tripod, or if you have a mount, you can connect it there. This is peculiar, this uh, strap here. I've never used one like this. I might have to do this off camera, but I've never used one like this, so I don't know, you know how this is going to work out. Sometimes these are good, sometimes they're not, but I've never seen one quite like this.